So this is going to be a Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, and as well Scorpio Rising, weekly love and relationship are reading December 30th to January 5th, uh, 2019. And uh, if you do guys want to get in touch with me, um, you can find the link to my website down in the description below. And from there, you can a, uh, purchase a personal reading if you'd like to. So that being said, moving into the um, spread directly, the first card, which is the topic of the week, love and relationship wise for us is going to be the 10 of swords, followed by the next one, which represents the energies that are surrounding or feeding up the, the topic itself. That is going to be the uh, king of cups, followed by the next one, which stands as the challenges that we need to overcome throughout the week in terms of love and relationship. That is to be the uh, page of swords. The fourth card represents the gifts and the blessings for us, and that is to be the five of swords. The uh, fifth card, it is how others see us, and that is to be the ace of cups. Followed by the uh, sixth card here, which is what uh, is going to help our long term goal in terms of love and relationship. That will be the eight of swords. The next one, it is uh, what is going to hurt our uh, long term love and relationship goal. We do have the ace of pentacles. And the last one, it is going to be the guidance that Taro is offering to us. This will be the page of wands quite interesting um so it looks like that the time for us to face the reality of the circumstances that surrounds our uh, love and relationship uh, situation has came into this week we do have these two cards so um the energies which are feeding the situation of the Ten of Swords are the energies of a, uh, how do you say when you do have a someone who is det not exactly determined, but I don't know how to, how to explain it, guys. It's like a person who knows what needs to be done, a person who already took a decision. Well, that's us. The Scorpio. So we already have taken our decision. These are the energies which are supporting the situation. Uh, regardless, we like it or not, so we are to know that that is the best thing that we can do. So we can maintain our emotional fullness for throughout the week and moving forward into the future as well. Therefore, uh, these energies are going to make us uh, take a very balanced and accurate for ourselves a kind of a decision in regards to our current love and relationship uh, situation. That itself is going to provoke the topic or is going to feed up the topic where uh, a new dawn into our love and relationship life is going to be, um, is going to uh, sprinkle. Now, this new dawn doesn't have to be a new relationship, all right? Ten of Swords as a uh, topic and as a, a cycle in general in love and relationship represents that something breaks. We snap. We are to snap in one way or another. And this snap, um, based on the decision we made, is going to provoke us to do the irreversible actions that needs to be done in order for a new era to take or to replace the old one, which could lead to breaking relationships, breaking interactions, uh, placing ultimatums, if you will, or in generally abandoning a, a misfortunate uh, standpoint, even if that hurts us in the short term, in the long term is going to serve us a, a big, big purpose. So what I am trying to say here, Scorpio, it is that this week is going to call for us to take some drastic actions to make some irrevocable decisions as well. Because we are to find out that we are not happy where we stand. I mean, I know that I'm not happy where I stand, all right, but we are not happy or we are not as happy as we can be where we stand and uh, kind of like the the situation itself needs to be provoked 
in a very drastic way so you know a further growth can come around so drastic times or desperate times calls for desperate measures it is what we have throughout this week the other card here it is the challenge that uh, we have to overcome and we do have a person that it is quite intellectually agile what i mean is that it is someone who can present fictions as facts all right and this is what our challenge is going to be to differentiate to discern what is fiction and what is fact from those from all the statements that this person presents to us now that is someone who likes to play with words and it's usually a person who likes conflicts so um basically the challenge for us is to ignore that person if that's our person of interest or if that's our partner well as simple as that we have to ignore them and make a decision for ourselves are we going to endure this any longer or are we going to provoke a new era into our uh, love and relationship life and we're going to break the uh, communications and the interactions that we do have because these people page of swords they feed on um, despondency they feed on drama or right? they feed when other people around them are in worse shape than they actually are so they can feel superior to the others the other card here it is the gifts and the blessings that we can enjoy throughout the week that is going to be the five of swords in terms of love and relationship so five of swords here are points that we are going to find our worth that is going to be the gift and the blessing and uh, for many of us is going to be like i do not deserve this i mean i can do so much more i can do so much better than that Okay, and if this current situation does not give me the place or the room or the option to do it, well, I'm going to find my happiness elsewhere. So as a gift and the blessing, the five of swords points deter, uh, determin determination and unyielding standpoint to find our happiness wherever that happiness is. And if the current person of interest or the current partner of ours does not give it to us, through the ultimatum or through the decisions that we are making. So if they don't kind of catch the point of our behavior, then they are to lose us one way or, uh, or the other. Another thing with the five of swords here as a gift and a blessing, it is that our trust is going to be bulletproof. What I mean here, it is that uh, if someone tries to abuse our trust that we have gave to them they are gonna fail big time so it's kind of like we are shielded from a disappointment of being betrayed one way or the other now the other card it is how people see us and this is where the things take a turn for the better now regardless of what situation you are finding yourself at the Ace of Cups here points that someone sees you as the font, a fountain of love that they need. Okay, so that being said, if with the current relationship you have, things aren't going on and you identify that they're never going to go on as the way that you are going to feel happy, you shouldn't hesitate to break it here with this card. It is because that card itself points that someone sees you as their option. Someone sees you as this, the thing they need in order to fulfill their life and therefore to fulfill your life as well. It is kind of like someone sees you as an unexpected blessings blessing in their life and uh, they are gonna try to be an unexpected blessing in your life or they will try to give their full love to you now very potent card for those who are single because that reading for those who are entirely single without a person of interest does speaks that they will have enough of it being alone all right they will just want to uh, provoke a new era like i said into their love and relationship life and most likely they will start to socialize with other people kind of boosting their confidence if you will and that is going to um kind of like allow you, or not allow but is going to bring someone into your social circle or around you that is going to fall in love with you it is just how they see you all right um, they see you as well as a someone who is ready to 
engage someone who is ready to um how can i say it to make someone else's life happy okay so if you think that you are lacking options available being in a relationship well you don't scorpio we don't so the other card here, it is what is going to hurt our long-term goal in terms of love and relationship. And that is the Eight of Swords. Uh, what is going to help our, um, excuse me, yeah, that is what is going to help our long-term love and relationship goal. And that is the Eight of Swords. So the Eight of Swords, it's uh, like a, um, in that particular case, it's like the mutual understanding, if you will, where if someone does not see your points, they are never going to see it. So we should not try to kind of like um, lick it from our fingers. This is an expression uh, in our country that like trying to do something out of nothing. That is not how it works, or at least it's not how it worked for us here throughout this week and therefore if people doesn't see our points of view if they don't share our not our interest but our vision if you will they then uh, at least for that week they do not belong around us and therefore we should associate with people or with a person of interest that shares our vision enjoys our things you know and uh, it simply sees us as the only thing that matters at that particular uh, point uh, the other card here, it is uh, what is going to hurt our long-term goals. And that is Ace of Pentacles. And this is a pretty much of an, an awkward card at that point. And the only thing I can make up into this narrative with the Ace of Pentacles is to be naive and to secretly hope that miraculously things are going to change course and you will not have to do those drastic actions and those drastic irrevocable decisions in order to provoke a new era into your life, um, into your love and relationship life. No different than being in an abusive relationship and, and uh, kind of like secretly hoping that that is going to change on its own accord. Your partner is going to stop, stop abusing you on its own accord and you will not have to leave from there. I mean, the that's not going to happen, at least according to this card. So you have to take the matters in your own hands here for what it seems. And the last card, it does represent the guidance that Taro is offering. This is the Page of Swords. And uh, there are three things uh, actually as a guidance. First of all, at points that you can and should be in the center of the company. What I mean it is that if you think that you, you that you are not liked, that you do not catch an eye and that you do not make an impression, you do. So have confidence. That's one. The second thing here, it is that you need to be open for everything new. I mean, people want to go out on a date, which you will give them a chance. You know, you, you never know where the golden rabbit is going to pop up with. What hole the, go the golden rabbit is going to pop up, is going to pop up from. And the last thing that this card gives us as a, a guidance here, it is that even if we have to break our relationship, we can be happy and we can be strong on our own accords. The fear of being alone should not be a prerequisite to be miserable into one's abusive relationship or interaction. So that being said, Scorpio, this was our love and relationship time reading for uh, December 30th to January 5th, 2019. Hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, if you do want once again to get in touch with me, you can find a link to my website listed down below in the description of this video from which you can schedule a, a private reading with me. And uh, we're going to see each other around, I hope. Until then, bye.